without further ado, let's give the floor to Joko. Uh, talking about social security. Uh, first, Joko, tell me who you are and then... Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Joko Hemmi from the ancient uh, capital of Finland called Turku. And now I have uh, the greatest pleasure to, to be here at the stage to tell you something about uh, uh, basic income in connection with uh, social security. But uh, in this connection with the social, uh, with the basic income, I don't talk so much about uh, laws or rules about uh, how, what kind of impact the social security is, has on, on the society. But now then I go directly to the issue I have prepared for this very nice uh, conference. First, uh, I will talk about uh, outdated social security system. Societal change has revealed serious flaws in the Nordic social welfare systems due to a narrow presumption of labor always being full-time employment. This has led to a segregation between those who have uh, or have had full-time employment and those who have earned their living under more uncertain conditions. People who fall outside the protection of labor law and social security are left in an uh, unequal position. This combined with uh, unemployment can easily lead to social exclusion. Such uh, segregation and decrease in uh, life conditions may affect the well-being of ordinary people. Thus, they should be tackled by an adequate social security system. Our heavily antiquated social and labor legislation, regulations and administrative practices generally provide citizens with conditional social security benefits. Human dignity itself is conditioned and measured by social security and labor legislation, whether you are in the labor market or not, and whether you are actively seeking work or not. When one loses their job, they lose their status as an autonomous member of the society and will be labeled as a climate of conditional social insights, uh, social help thus becoming a marginalized human being, pondering where the hu human rights are. People should not be forced to work, but work should always be profitable. Irregular, irregular income causes constant difficulties with social security, the social security system creates situations in which, for example, the salary of a small gig job doesn't add much income, but may have significant negative impacts on the level of benefit support. Moreover, in our current system, a job seeker can't get personal assistance and has to take jobs which are not compatible with their training and do not offer a living, a living wage. Some goes for social work. Social workers are forced to be bureaucrats and they can't do social work for which they have been trained. 
In Finland, employees enjoy free occupational health care. This is something that should be extended to everybody, especially outside the labor market or at its fringes, often fall under the poverty line. By having to pay for health care, these people are denied free access to general opinion, sorry, to, to health care, a benefit free for people with more financial stability to begin with. We know that general opinion has traditionally presumed that work, prefer preferably full time, is the best guarantee and method for a secure livelihood and social position. Social security is means tested and is maintained as an imperative of the Lutheran Christian moral ideal of the past. That uh, he who does not work, neither shall he eat. Yet, as the labor market has changed, changed our laws have not changed with it. Policy has fallen behind. So how does UBI improve the social security system? Basic income releases people from statuses and labels and allows them to become subjects of their own life. It revitalizes revitalizes the desolate countryside by improving farmers' economic cost, cost structure. From a middle class point of view, basic income is a great help for single parents and families. It also helps young people become independent. As the employers, especially, especially small and micro entrepreneurs and solo contractors, also receive UBI. It will improve the matching of labor, labor supply and demand in an unprecedented, unprecedentedly positive way. The negotiation position on working conditions for both parties will become much more incentivizing and flexible. Here, requirements for, a, for job qualifications, salaries, etc., match the skills related to the nature of the job on offer. And the job applicant's freedom of choice is greatly improved. Thus, uh, an even greater number of unemployed people can look for a job without the fear of sanctions and penalty, penalties. For a person intending to become an entrepreneur, UBI, UBI is a real kick of happiness as it is a permanent start-up money. In addition, the employment officials can concentrate on helping people with their employment issues instead of controlling and monitoring the unemployed. Some goes for social workers. When freed from their surveillance work, they will be able to see people who are in true need of real social help face to face. And last but not, not least, some words about realizing what uh, was promised. As there have been many uh, trials and uh, researchers carried out on uh, UBI in many countries with good, good, very good results. Mentioned earlier uh, in Martin Michals, Michalsen's chapter, the need of a directly introduced UBI as a major part of a social security system is evident. The COVID-19 pandemic has put many systems to a test. 
the grave socio-economic uh, consequences of the pandemic would at least at a personal level be alleviated by introducing a universal basic income. This would, be, would in, term, in turn spur local economies and that of many small enterprises and self-employed persons. Referring also to our project's title, Basic Income Cornerstone of the Nordic Welfare State, we have good enough reasons to suggest, as it is a question of greatly improving the tradi traditionally good cooperation between the Nordic forks, that, is, that it is uh, worthwhile introducing UBI in all Nordic countries concurrently, instead of realizing it as a set of country-specific basic income trials. UBI should be put straight to use. As economist and philosopher, Philip, German philosopher, Philip Kovtze suggests, suggests, side quotation, a basic income cannot be tested, it can only be practiced. The Nordic countries have joined their efforts. Basic income earth networks all work for the restructuring of societies in order to to contribute to achieving a, a more human life for all with the UPI. It would be a great step forward for the welfare states and, and arguably an inevitable solution for updating our current social security system. And more importantly, the noble promises guaranteed by the constitutions would finally be realized. Thank you.